G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Um, today what we're gonna take a look at is uh, a little feature of Outlook on the web um, that I think is gonna bring you a lot of value. Now I did try and use Outlook on the web uh, for a week. Now my specific uh, use of my inbox and email uh, means that I actually lose a little bit of productivity um, when I'm using Outlook on the web because of a, a few different use cases that, that I have. Um, but if you are using Outlook on the web, and I know a lot of organizations are moving towards Outlook on the web, um, it's, it looks uh, amazing. There's some little features of Outlook on the web that I, I think are, are better than the Outlook client. Um, now, one of those features is the ability to like uh, email messages. Now, in this day and age, when we're trying to uh, move uh, away from email-based communication, this is just a, another little way that that users can interact with each other without having to send emails. Um, so when a user sends an email and if you're in, uh, in the online version of Outlook, then you can like that message and the other person uh, will get a little notification in the browser that you have liked that message. So it is a good way of, of notifying um, the, the other user uh, that you've either read the message or that you agree or, or that or give some feedback or that type of thing and it just doesn't it just means that we don't have to fire back that reply email so check this out have a look uh, if you are using Outlook on the web then uh, you might already be using this if you're not then uh, have a go check it out um, and I hope it brings you some value and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching guys. Um, actually, before I go, if you haven't subscribed to the Daniel Anderson Digital Digest, then um, head on over to this URL that's going to appear here somewhere um, and whack your email address in and I will send you um, some more value every Monday. Uh, and uh, join everybody else and uh, let's, let's build a, a really good community um, so that I can help you uh, get the most out of um, Office 365 or Microsoft 365. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time. G'day everyone, uh, Daniel here and what we're going to have a look at today is a little feature of Outlook on the web um, that I, I think is going to bring you some value and I know it's going to save um, a, a little bit of time um, and also emails that fly backwards and forwards with each other. Um, as we all know, we're trying to get out of, uh, out of the inbox um, and out of that email type communication. So let's take a look at the, the feature of liking an email. So you can see here that I'm in uh, Outlook Online or Outlook on the web, or however you want to call it, and I'm logged in as Megan. So I'm just going to start up a new email here, and I'm going to send an email to Alex. Um, and I'm just going to uh, formulate this email. And to get cracking on this. Can you, it helps if I can spell, follow up with John. All right, so I'm just going to send that up, off to Alex. I'm just going to drag Alex's inbox now across to here. I can see that, that Megan has, I've just received that. Now, I'm going to open this up. Now, what, I, what you can see here is this thumbs up and we can actually like this message. So I don't have to reply back to Megan. I can just like that message. And what's gonna appear for Megan uh, in a minute is Megan's gonna get a, a little notification to say that Alex has liked that message. Um, so she knows that Alex has first of all received it. Second of all, um, that, sh that, that he's gonna follow up on that, uh, on that message. So here we have the uh, the little notification here that's popped up into the browser um, to no to notify me that Alex had uh, had liked that message. I got a little uh, a little sound as well. 
But what you'll see also is that it appears in my notifications section of um, in the browser there. So I can see here that uh, it gives me the date and the time that Alex actually liked the message. And you can see here that uh, he actually liked the message earlier on this morning as well. So that's uh, that, uh, that is a great little feature of Outlook, uh, Outlook Online, Outlook on the web. Um, and is uh, I know a lot of organisations are, are moving more towards uh, the out, the online version of Outlook as opposed to the desktop version. If you're mobile and using different uh, machines and that type of thing, it, it, it does come in really handy. It looks really nice. The UI is good, and there, there are some some features and functionality that. Um, that work really well and do save you some time. So I hope that one brought you some value. Um, go off and like some messages and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.